I am still perplexed by the line of attack that Donald Trump is continuing to use against Joe Biden. He's basically using imagery from Black Lives Matter protests and the George Floyd riots to basically scare people into thinking that this is what they can expect, this type of chaos and anarchy, if Joe Biden is elected. This is Joe Biden's America. The only problem is that that assertion is laughable on its face because this is all happening in Donald Trump's America. But still, they're rolling with it. Like, I don't know why they think this line of attack is persuasive. I don't know who they think they're going to persuade with this. But this is exactly what they've been saying, and they're sticking to this line of attack. Now, RNC Research tweeted out an ABC News interview with Simone Sanders, who is Joe Biden's press spokesperson. And in this clip, George Stephanopoulos grills her for tweets Biden made where he was critical of the prospect of a travel ban proposed by Trump in early March. Now, even though I rarely agree with her, she is right in this clip that Joe Biden does, in fact, get a pass for this because he wasn't privy to the information that Donald Trump had, and none of us knew specifically what we were dealing with at that time. And it wasn't unreasonable for us to think that Donald Trump was just using this, like other issues, to be xenophobic, to impose more xenophobic policies that disproportionately target specific groups of people. Like, that's not something that's ridiculous. We're not unreasonable for assuming that Trump was just being a bigot because that's what he does. Had he shared the information he knew at the time with us, maybe we would have been more receptive to that policy uh, proposition. But I mean, still, Joe Biden gets a pass for this. I disagree with Joe Biden when it comes to a lot of things, but he was not privy to that information. So he gets a pass. But even though he gets a pass, Joe Biden was, in fact, wrong. In fact, many others were wrong because we were working with limited information. We did not know the severity of COVID-19 back in January and February, but still, RNC Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel tweeted out an attack on Joe Biden in response to that interview, and she shared that tweet by RNC Research, and what she says is going to make your head explode. She says, Joe Biden can't run from his disastrous record responding to the coronavirus. The truth hurts, Joe. <laughs> Yikes. Oh my god. That is a real tweet. Yes, it's not a fake screenshot. It's not a hoax. And yes, she still has it up. She hasn't deleted it yet. Rana, I don't know how to tell you this, but this is going to blow your mind. Joe Biden does not have a record on responding to coronavirus because he's not the president. Donald Trump was the president. Now, I'm sure that the irony was lost on her, but the person who we should be looking at, who bungled the response to COVID-19, who had power at the time, who had knowledge that all of us did not have, is Donald Trump. And yet she's attacking Joe Biden for his response to coronavirus. What did you expect him to do? He wasn't in a position to implement policies. He didn't even have the Democratic nomination wrapped up at that time. So to criticize him for critiquing the prospect of a travel ban when Trump always is doing xenophobic things and trying to weaponize certain issues to be more xenophobic, I don't care. He wasn't in power. Had Joe Biden been actually in a position of power in government and failed to act, then I think you can criticize him, right? But in this instance, you look like an absolute buffoon to criticize Joe Biden's record on COVID-19 when he didn't have power. Donald Trump had power. Donald Trump is the one who bungled it. So basically what they're doing is they're taking a truth and they're flipping it on its head, saying the opposite of what's true in hopes that, you know, the people who are already predisposed to believe this bullshit buy into it and eat it up and actually think that Joe Biden did fail to respond accurate or adequately to COVID-19. I don't know what they expect from this, but maybe if they if they flip the truth on its head and they say that Joe Biden actually had a bad response to COVID-19, maybe people will think, or maybe they think people will think that some of the pressure should be taken off of Donald Trump. I don't know, but this is so bizarre. I, I can't imagine this appeals to anyone. Like, this isn't going to appeal to the independents who they're trying to win over. It's not going to appeal to moderate Democrats or moderate Republicans. You say things like this and you look like a fucking idiot. 
because Joe Biden is not the president. Donald Trump is the president. So I don't know what else to say about this. The RNC chairwoman may be a bigger clown than the DNC chairman, Tom Perez. Like, I, I didn't think that was possible. Tom Perez is so disliked that even Mother Nature hates him. Birds literally are shitting on him. Uh, but I guess that she thinks that Joe Biden was the president and he can't run from his disastrous record responding to coronavirus. You are delusional. You are absolutely delusional. And regardless of how loudly you scream, we're not going to buy into your delusions of grandeur. Trump is the president, not Joe Biden. Hold up. Wet, 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 wet,